Hart from Creative Arts. How are you tonight? Great. How are you doing? I'm well. Good. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Creative Arts, some of the programs that you run? Um, sure. Creative Arts is a nonprofit art, music, and theater school. We've been around for about 37 years now. We were uh, founded by a group of parents who were concerned about um, not having enough arts in the school. And we still have that concern today. Um, <laughs> there's definitely not enough in the schools for the kids. Um, and we've branched out now to do adults as well. So uh, we have uh, art, music, and theater classes, private lessons. We operate all year round um, for classes, um, camps during the summer, all sorts of fun things that happen. Um, so what kind of events do you have coming up end of spring or early summer? Uh, we are always doing events, it seems like. Um, we have something going on about every month. Uh, we're ending our school year, so we have our year-end Celebrating the Arts event coming up, which is a kind of a culmination of uh, event for us where we highlight all of our programs and uh, we focus on really making sure all of our programs shine. And so we have students performing, we have some faculty performing, we have awards that are giving out. We give out a Founders Award, which recognizes someone in the community that gives back not only to creative arts, but to other organizations and other cultural groups in town. And this year, the award's going to Art Hayden, who is um, a fellow chamber member and also a Rotarian, and he owns Hayden Printing and Promotions. He's been helping creative arts out for many years with discounted printing. Um, he donates a lot of his time and um, printing services as well. Um, and he's just a great guy within the community, so we're happy to honor him. It, that event's on Friday, May um, 29th, and from at 6 o'clock we do a free dinner, um, oh, potluck nice. dinner, which is nice, and then we start the program at 7 with the concert, the awards, we give out scholarships, um, and we recognize uh, um, participants in the organization as well. So that's one that's coming up. That's a free event, which is great, thanks to um, many sponsors and donors that come through for us. And, um, and then we have a great fun adult event in June, which is um, a Passport to Summer, which is a wine and beer tasting, which will be held at Pamplemousse. Um, and it kind of is a kickoff to the summer um, season, and um, it's a great fundraiser for us as well. Uh, you buy a ticket to come in and do the tasting. We have great food that's donated as well. And a lot of the organizations in town participate either through raffles or this year we're doing a coupon book so that um, we encourage people to stay local shopping as well because a lot of local organizations are what support us um, throughout the year. So how can uh, people find out more about these events or other programs that Creative Arts is running? Um, well, you can call and stop by. We'd love to have visitors. We rent space from the First Congregational Church here in Reading. Um, we've been there for many years, so come visit us at any time. But also check out our website at weteachcreativearts.org or on our Facebook page, um, Creative Arts School is um, a little tagline for mm -hmm. our um, Facebook page, and we keep those things updated. Is there anything else that you'd like to mention tonight? Um, some of your summer programs, maybe? Yes. Um, like I mentioned, we're open all year round. Um, and uh, during the school year, it's mostly based on weekly classes or special workshops for all ages and private lessons. During the summer, we continue with the private music lessons. The schedule's a little more lax. So it's a great time for new students to also check out an instrument, whether they want to expand into a new instrument or do a little training um, on something they're already doing or prep for the coming school year. And we also have week-long programs and one-day workshops. So um, we have theater program that runs. We have, we're doing three shows, two we do in collaboration with Quantipow at Playhouse here in town. So we do two shows there. One's a musical and the other one's a straight play. And then we will be culminating the summer theater with Annie, which is co-produced with Reading Recreation. And that will be performed at um, Parker Middle School. Those are great programs for 8- to 16-year-olds. We also have great art programs that are week-long and workshop-based for um, ages 3 to 6 and also 6 to 12-year-olds um, and other things that happen, one-off things. But those that's the bulk of our big summer. And each of those ends with a show or a performance, which is great. Yeah, that's excellent. Um, so is there anything else that you'd like to um, highlight tonight? Um, 
come be involved in the arts, whether it's uh, creative arts or any other arts organizations, RCTV, but we all kind of work together, and I think that's what's important. Um, not only the arts organizations, but the businesses in town working together to support each other. Um, it's a community base, and so the more people that are out coming to events, participating, so telling others about events, the better for all of us, and we can all grow from that and um, grow as a community as large. Thank you so much, Jennifer. It was Thank lovely you. having you here Thank tonight. You. <laughs>